So the GR stumble, what is it and how can we fix it? First step of that today is for me to actually data log and see what's going on when it does the stumble. Around 2,500 RPM up to 3,000-ish is where it normally occurs. So I'm going to go through, take this um, 2010 saloon out for a drive and just see where it actually occurs try and data log what's happening while it's doing it and see whether there's a way to fix that within the map itself without any mechanical changes at this stage. So keep watching. So I've downloaded the, the map off this car and I'm just about to go out for a drive now. I've just got the laptop connected with the Tatrix cable. I'm just gonna see if I can recreate it and see what actually happens in the data logs while it's doing it. And then we'll come back and see whether I can fix it. So I've got the data log in running and we'll just go out for a drive now. Right, so been out for a drive, um, quite a few sort of separate um, acceleration points and just to see what was going on, where it was, was occurring and basically to give me the data and the data logs to actually see what was happening. So if you look at the data now, I'll cut to the screen with the data on there um, and overlay it with me talking um, this is one acceleration point so coming up from low revs at this point here we are at um, 1700 rpm um, air fuel ratio according to the narrow band on the car was 15 so slightly leaner than it ought to be but coming up through the revs you know it, it's then at this point here Sort of going up to 14.9, 14.8, when it's actually building some boost here at, at this point. So it's a 0.4 bar of boost, 2600, and that would make it jerky, that would make it stutter. So what I'm going to try is see whether we can just manipulate the math curve um, to see whether adding some extra fuel into the math curve at that particular point which is about sort of um, 60, 68 grams per second of air or sort of around, around from here really 37 up to 68 adding a bit extra there whether that will actually make a difference and smooth out that um, jerkiness that you feel when you put your foot down in a GR or a, um, you know, in a later saloon like this one is. So let me make some changes to the map and I'll be back. So if I open up the math sensor scaling, you can see here we've got a standard math curve going on. Um, so the bit that we're really looking at curing is this sort of section here taking that up a bit to try and solve this jerkiness this stutter so I'm just going to add in like another 10% of fuel there so multiplying it by 110% so that gives us a chunk extra in that section and just blend that into the areas before and blend it in to a few cells afterwards just to see whether that makes a difference to this stutter. Close that down, save the file. Load that onto the car. So on these canvas cars, it doesn't take long to write the map onto it. Communication protocols much quicker. Okay, that's all done. And 
we'll start the car up. You'll notice on the JDM cars that the air fuel ratio takes a while to actually spring into life, which is part of the reason some of these have a cold start issue, uh, because it hasn't really got a clue as to um, where it is and what corrections it needs to make when it's cold. I'll be covering that in another video very soon. So I need to take this out for a drive, see what's happening now, see whether we've made the problem worse made it slightly better so uh, bear with me a moment I haven't got a uh, camera mount in this car but I'm only driving it slowly um, and on public roads so it's not an issue all right so let's go for a drive again pick the one warm day of the year to do this um, in a car without aircon so <laughs> thanks for that George Squeely brakes. Tell you what, that feels better already. The air fuel ratio is still not sprung into life on the laptop itself. So just to summarize what I did in this video, got the laptop, Tactrix cable, downloaded the standard ROM that was on the car and data logged driving on the normal public road, experiencing the GR stumble, the stumble that an awful lot of the owners of these cars experience between two, two to three and a half thousand. It kind of feels juttery, not smooth, not nice. Um, so what the objective of this video was to show a way to solve that problem. So I data logged, made some changes to the map, made some changes to the math scaling, added a bit of extra fuel in that bit around the crossover point where it goes into open loop, just to smooth off the transition from closed loop to open loop, and it solved it. Perfect. <laughs>